Prince Harry is back in the spotlight, preparing for a whirlwind of solo engagements in New York City. But as he steps onto the public stage, rumors about trouble brewing in his marriage to Meghan Markle are echoing across the royal gossip mill. With high-profile events on the horizon, including collaborations with African conservation groups and the Well Child Awards in London, Harry seems poised to showcase his independence. Yet, behind the scenes, things might not be as smooth as they appear. According to reports, just hours before his departure, Harry endured a heated night at home with Meghan, who allegedly had a full-blown meltdown. Sources claim she yelled at him throughout the night, berating him for leaving her isolated in Montecito. Who do you think you are? Meghan allegedly shouted, accusing Harry of trying to outshine her with his solo engagements. It sounds like a scene straight out of a reality TV show, doesn't it? It seems that Meghan was laying it on thick, turning their home into a battleground of dramatic speeches about her struggles as a duchess. Some even suggest she was practicing for her next big media appearance, rehearsing lines about how hard life is in the spotlight. Fast forward to Harry's big night in New York, and things start to look more like the aftermath of a soap opera episode. As Harry arrived at his event, onlookers couldn't help but notice that he looked worse for wear. Rumpled suit, no tie, and a demeanor that screamed, I've just been yelled at. Poor Harry. Word on the street is that he may have been drowning his sorrows beforehand, and his disheveled appearance suggested a night of drinking, and possibly something a little stronger, had taken its toll. The scent of alcohol, and who knows what else, lingered, making it clear this wasn't the polished Duke of Sussex people are used to seeing. Can you imagine Meghan's parting words as Harry left for New York? You'll ruin everything if you go out there looking like that. Sources claim her tantrum was so intense that Harry was left feeling completely drained as he stepped into the public eye. But despite the drama, the Duke pushed forward, though it's hard not to wonder whether Meghan's words echoed in his mind the entire time. This latest bout of domestic discord is only adding fuel to the fire of speculation about Harry and Meghan's marriage. With more solo trips on Harry's schedule, many are starting to question if this is a sign that their relationship is on the rocks. Sources close to the couple have hinted that Harry has been feeling increasingly isolated in California, which may explain why he's reconnecting with old friends in the UK. Could this be the beginning of a new chapter for Harry? or just another twist in the ongoing royal drama. Of course, it's easy to blame Meghan's tantrums for driving Harry to a breaking point. But at the end of the day, Harry is a grown man. He's 40 years old, and he should know better than to show up to a high-profile event looking like he's just stumbled out of a party. Is Meghan really the only one to blame here? Or is Harry, in his own way, playing into the chaos that seems to follow them everywhere they go? As Harry embarks on this solo journey, one thing is certain, the drama is far from over. Will he rise to the occasion and prove he's more than just a prince caught in the whirlwind of Meghan's theatrics? Or will her voice continue to haunt him, lurking in the background like a shadow? If you want to keep up with this royal roller coaster, make sure to subscribe to Fame Finder. Don't forget to like the video, drop a comment below, and share your thoughts on the latest Sussex saga. Stay tuned. There's plenty more royal drama to come and FameFinder is your go-to source for all the juicy details.